Welcome to CCTVNinjas.com help and tutorial section. We will be covering on how to set up and configure one of our cloud DVRs. Our cloud DVRs essentially allow you to view your cameras live remotely without having to do any complicated uh, port forwarding options or uh, anything along those lines. Another great feature that they offer is if your IP were to be changing from your home, it wouldn't uh, give you any connectivity issues because we're connecting through a cloud uh, service as opposed to uh, the IP directly. Um, as before, if your IP were to change, you would be disconnected and then you'd have to go look up your new IP and so on and so forth. It was just a bit of a headache. So basically what we're going to do is uh, take the DVR uh, from the box and go ahead and connect it to your router um, and power it on. Once it's on, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the network settings of the DVR and see what address was allocated to the DVR through the DHCP service of your router. Once you know that address, we're going to open Internet Explorer here and we're going to navigate to that address. Uh, so it happens the address that was assigned to our DVR here is 192.168.0.44. So let's go ahead and pull that up here. And it does have to be Internet Explorer that you're using for your browser. Uh, it, um, Internet Explorer is the only one that will, will stream the cameras. It'll prompt us for our username and password. On these systems, the username is admin in all lowercase letters, and there is no password, so it would be left blank. Once you got that, you go ahead and click Login, and then click OK. As you can see, we do have a connectivity, and the cameras are streaming. So we do have a good connection to the router and um, our network setup. Um, basically, what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to click Device Configuration right there. And give it a second to pull up that menu. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, we're going to set like a bandwidth throttle. That way, um, uh, the cameras will stream according to the speed that your internet service currently is operating at. So you'll get a more reliable, more steady connection. So we're going to go ahead and click the settings button, which is this uh, middle icon here. Then we're going to connect uh, to our network icon there. And we're going to want to ensure that where it says high speed download, we're going to want to make sure that that is checked. And right here for the transfer uh, policy, we're going to want to switch that to adaptive. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And that has set the throttle on our bandwidth. So we're going to go ahead and let that run there. OK, next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to xmeye.net. xmeye.net. And we're going to want to create a user account there for your new cloud service. And this is also xmeye.net is going to be the website that you're going to be going to from any computer to uh, view the cameras remotely. If it is your first time connecting to the cameras, uh, you're, you're going to want to see right here where it says download a web. You're going to want to click that and run that piece of software so that uh, you can have the plugin to install the cameras. Um, after you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and click right here and register for an account. The account is free, but you do need to register and create one. Um, you'll go ahead and follow the steps here. I'm just going to ask you for your username that uh, you'll be using to access the cameras, some basic contact information, and your password. Once you have that account created, it'll tell you account has been created successfully. We're now going to want to go back and log in. So this is going to be our username and our password. We have it saved. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, then enter our verification code, 9078, and click Login. Now, basically, it's going to show us a list of our current devices that we have connected to this cloud account. We happen to have a, uh, one of our test uh, dome IP cameras connected here, and we're about to connect a DVR so that way it can show on our list of devices. So that's another great benefit that the uh, cloud services offer is that you can actually run multiple DVRs from multiple locations through one cloud account, which means you don't have to remember a bunch of different IP addresses or a bunch of different usernames and passwords. You can associate all of your offices or all of your connections um, through one account, and you can access all the cameras from that one account. So it's definitely Definitely a much better uh, route to go. So if you have an office and a home, you can log in through one account and view both properties from one account. So we're going to basically click Device Manage, and that's where we're going to go to add a device. Once we're in the Device Manage, we're going to click Add up the, from the top left there. Now it's going to ask us for the serial number of the device we're trying to add. So essentially what you could do is you can go to the DVR and go to the Settings, uh, click the Settings uh, menu, and then click on the Info tab. The info tab will then uh, give us um, the serial number. So let's enter the serial number for that particular device here. 
and you'll enter your own serial number for your own device here this is just for the demo model that we're using now And you're going to want to enter the, make sure you are entering the correct serial number because that's going to be one common mistake. If you even get one digit wrong or whatnot, it's not going to give you access to the system. So take your time and enter that uh, correctly. And then for your device name, you're going to name that whatever you'd like. You can name it home camera system. You can name it east office location. You can name it whatever you'd like to refer to the system as. So here we're going to put office demo cameras. And um, uh, it's going to then ask us for the authentication to log into that particular DVR. So username is going to be admin by default. Password is going to be blank by default. If you entered a password at the DVR, you're going to have to enter it here as well to allow the cloud account to access that account. We'll go ahead and click OK. And it does give you a set amount of time to add the add add the device. So let's go ahead. And we, we timed out of it. Let's go ahead and add it one more time here. And it's going to be serial number. It's going to be the device name that you want to refer to it as, and the username and password. Okay, when you'll then see it populated in the list of devices, uh, there's the serial number and there's the name for the corresponding device. Once you have it listed here, you can go ahead and back and click My Devices, and you'll see those little air, those little uh, progress bars are connecting to the to the unit. Once you see the screen like that, that shows a solid connection. If it shows you with a red X through it, either the internet connection at the DVR location is down, the DVR may be off, or initially the serial number may have been entered wrong. So now that we see that we do have a connection and the screen is illuminated, we can go ahead and click on that icon for the office cameras demo that we just set up. And it's going to then begin to pull up that particular system. Once we're in that system, it's going to then give us a bit rate uh, prompt. You can just go ahead and click OK for the default uh, connection there. And initially, on your first run, when you're going to be accessing the cameras for the first time, it may take about up to a minute or so to show the cameras because uh, remember you installed a piece of software that um, is going to be uh, streaming the cameras uh, when uh, we first created the XMI account. So it may take up to two minutes to initially give a video feed on the system, but after that you should get a uh, video feed after you log in uh, much quicker each time. And there is our feed and our system is now viewable online and um, running through our cloud service. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or visit us online at cctvninjas.com. Thank you.